In order to sign into your NADCA account, first go to NADCA's website, www.nadca.com. In the upper right-hand corner, click on the red Login Join link. Your username is system generated at the time you first created your NADCA account and typically contains the first letter of your first name followed by your last name. Your password was also system generated when you first created your NADCA account. If you do not remember your login and password, you can retrieve it by clicking on Forgot Your Password, which is located above the login button. A message will be sent to your email. Please be sure to check your spam folder if you do not receive it in your inbox. If you do not remember your email address or login name to reset your password, please contact us at membership at nadca.com. After you are successfully logged in, click on the red My Account link on the right upper corner of the page. This is where you can update your contact information, view open invoices, pay renewal dues, and print receipts. To update your contact information or change your password, click My Profile under Self-Service, and then click Edit on the section you want to update. Once you have finished editing your information, click Save. Be sure to review your contact information in My Profile to confirm it is correct and update as needed. To upload a photo to your profile, click on My Account, then under Self-Service, then click My Photo Bio. Next, click on Insert New Biography. Then click Choose File and select your photo to upload. Once you have finished uploading your photo, click Insert Bio. This photo will be used for NADCA photo ID cards issued to certified ASCS and CVI individuals. Every NADCA member company has a company administrator assigned to their account when they join NADCA. If you are the company administrator for your company, you have access to add and remove employees from your company record, update company contact information, designate a company voting representative, pay company renewal dues, and print company receipts. If you do not know who the company administrator is for your company, contact us at membership at nadca.com for assistance. To add or remove an employee from your company's record, the company admin will need to log in using his or her credentials. Once logged in, click on My Account. Next, click on the Company Employee Administration link under Self-Service. Then click on Add New Employees Here to add a new employee to your company record. Or to remove an employee, click on the person's name Enter an end-of-date employment. And then click Save. Please make sure you are not logged in as the employee whose employment you are ending. If your company does not have a designated voting representative, click on the name of the employee you wish to designate. and select Yes next to Voting Representative. Each company may only have one designated voting representative. To change your company's existing voting representative, click on the name of the current voting representative and unselect Yes under Voting Representative and click Save. Next, click on the name of the person you wish to designate
select Yes under Voting Representative, and click Save. As the company administrator, you can also review and update your company demographics provided at the time of application. Updating your demographics can enhance your listing in the Find a Professional directory on the NADCA website. To update your company demographics, click on My Account, then Company Regular Membership Profile under Self-Service. Scroll down to Regular Member Demographics, then click Edit next to that section. You can update the type of service your company provides, along with listing additional services your company offers. Once you have finished editing your information, click Save. In order to pay your company's membership dues online, the company administrator assigned to your company must sign into their NADCA account on the NADCA website, www.nadca.com. After you are successfully logged in, click on My Account. Next, click on the Renew My Regular Membership link under Self-Service. You will then be prompted to update and confirm the company contact and demographic information. Regular and supplemental members will be prompted to upload a copy of your company's Certificate of Liability Insurance you will not be able to complete the renewal process without uploading this documentation. Next, you will be taken to a shopping cart to pay the membership dues. Enter the credit card information requested, and click Submit Payment. If you receive an error message or require assistance with payment, please contact us at membership at nadca.com. In order to print a receipt, click on My Account, and then click on the Print Invoices Receipts link. In order for an ASCS certified individual to pay their certification renewal dues online, the ASCS must sign into their NADCA account on the NADCA website, www.nadca.com. Company administrators will not be able to pay ASCS renewal dues for their employees without logging in with the ASCS certified individual's credentials. After you are successfully logged in, click on My Account. Next, click on the Renew My ASCS Certification link under Self-Service. You will be prompted to update and confirm your contact information. You will also be prompted to upload approved CEC documentation if you have not already done so. All ASCS certified individuals must provide proof of six CECs. You will not be able to complete the renewal process without uploading this documentation. Next, you will be taken to the shopping cart to pay the ASCS certification renewal dues. Enter the credit card information requested and click Submit Payment. If you receive an error message or require assistance with payment, please contact us at membership at nadca.com. In order to print a receipt, click on My Account, and then click on the Print Invoices Receipts link. If you need further assistance with navigating the NADCA website, please contact us at membership at nadca.com.